Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the May 9th, 2023 Planning and Zoning Commission meeting. Public comments at this time. Come on up. Just tell us your name and go ahead. Hello, Commission. Good evening. My name is Agent Jay with Central Planning. Pleasure to meet you. Now, first, if we could all stand up. We can stand up, right? And then we'll shake. We'll go. It's kind of get the stress out. You know what I'm saying? All right. Today, we need to draft some responses to common planning critiques for super central planning. Those guys have been on my case. I have an assignment due tomorrow, and I spent the whole weekend on a bender at the cantina on Moss Isley, and I got to get this done or else. So I was hoping you could help me. So the first critique comes from economist and political philosopher Friedrich A. Hayek. Quote, the more the state plans, the more difficult planning becomes for the individual. What can we say? You guys got one? All right, I'll work on this one tonight. Okay, Whew. another one by Hayek. Quote, it is those who cry loudest for a planned economy who are most completely under the sway of the ideas which have created most of the evils from which we suffer. What can I say? He counts the world wars amongst some of those evils. Okay, all right. The next one is a Ludwig von Mises quote. Otto von Habsburg's old economics tutor. Any Habsburg fans here? Okay, every step which leads from capitalism towards planning is a necessary step nearer to absolutism and dictatorship. Oh, yikes. I'm gonna have to do this tonight, huh? All nighter, just like in college. These next ones are by Murray Rothbard, and boy, is he a pain. Quote, statism and central planning lead straight to totalitarianism. Okay, the next one is by Rothbard again. Quote, all forms of state planning of the whole economy are types of socialism. All right, okay, Henry Hazlitt, he's the former NY Times editor. He says, quote, planning always involves compulsion. This may be disguised in various ways. The government planners will, of course, try to persuade people that the master plan, you know, our 20-year plans, has been drawn up for their own good, and that the only persons who are going to be coerced are those whose plans are not in the public interest. Okay, the undesirables. Right? All right, that's easy. They're undesirable. There's a whole bunch of, I just go to the history text for that one. The next one was said by Jane Jacobs. Mm, she's an urban theorist. Oh gosh, she should not have been in the workplace. Okay, she says, quote, the pseudoscience of planning seems almost neurotic in its determination to imitate empiric failure and ignore empiric success. Okay, all right. The next one is Walter Block. He's a contemporary and that gets under my skin. He says, quote, if the electorate finds the central planners problematic, the central planners can be voted out in the next election. Or can they? More than likely, when the government gets its hands on the planning process, the decisions will be made by tenured bureaucrats, not subject to recall. That's me. What should I say? Okay, you know, if we're not subject to recall, why do we have to deal with the public at all? You know? Thank you. Thank you. The, the first commenter, you know, I, the same thing. If it's a conference round, I don't know these different individuals you talked about. Uh, you talk pretty fast. But if it's in the comprehensive plan, we work that way. Uh, uh, we, we are a, a, what, an animal of the city council. And we have, you know, certain codes that we follow, certain pledges we take and to try to do the best we can. So thank you very much.